whenever your whole entire trial, you know, when the prosecution comes out and tells their case and when the defense comes out and, and tells your side of the story, whenever a whole entire trial lasts like a day, you know there ain't nothing good is going to happen for the defendant. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so, yeah. So apparently, a jury of Tay K's peers has found him guilty. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the people who are actually Tay K's peers wouldn't be on a jury because they probably don't got jobs. But that's not the point. And I'm not trying to knock anybody for not having a job. I'm saying TK is kind of young and the individuals that will probably be his peers would probably be uh, in school or in college or, you know, something like that. They wouldn't necessarily be. Anyway, that's the point. I think I missed that joke. Anyway, TK has been found guilty and he will be sentenced to, I'm pretty sure, uh, he could possibly get a million years for this. Now, back in the day, and back in the day, the last video I've done on this, I said uh, a couple of times that what they tried to do was they tried to separate the case like it was two separate cases, although it is one case. What I mean by that is when he pled guilty to the actual robbery that he can't not plead guilty to, that also then made him culpable for the murder because the murder was committed in the uh, capacity of to forward that crime that they were in the progress of doing. Meaning that if you're involved in a crime and you have a, I don't know, a co-conspirator a co and they end up actually murdering somebody in the process of that crime, then that means that you and that person are on the hook for that murder. Just so we're clear, you can't, let's say, cause I use go rob a bank a lot. So let's say you can't kidnap somebody and then that person gets, uh, no, that person dies and he gets murdered or even dies accidentally or whatever. In the act of the kidnap, kidnapping, you can't then say, well, I only tried to kidnap him. The murder wasn't me because in reality, that person would not have been murdered or they wouldn't have died if it wasn't direct a result. It was, if it wasn't a, uh, directly resulting from the kidnapping, the kidnapping had to happen for the person to, to be murdered or killed. So yes, you are responsible. So TK might not have known this. I'm pretty sure his lawyers knew this. I don't know if he was trying to push this agenda to his lawyers. I have no idea, but this is something that I'm going to tell all of y'all. When your lawyer tells you something, don't assume you know better. Okay? Don't assume you know better. I'm not I don't know what his lawyers told him. I'm just saying. Also, for everybody that don't know, his co-defendants all, all pled already except for i think one guy everybody else turned evidence against tk the moment they had the girls the girls all put it on tk they said yeah we went talk tk we wanted to rob the person tk went and got the guns and the guys that's basically what the girl said now once you say that that basically means that the whole entire crime is basically on tk at the end of the day because the person who actually thought up the crime they took a plea. Take K's next. So Take K should have, in my opinion, just taken a deal. He didn't. Anyway. Um, obviously. Okay, so uh, this is the problem that I think individuals have. Individuals try to confuse what is fair with what is the law. And I think that that is one of the biggest issues and biggest problems that individuals have. A lot of people are gonna say that's not fair that Take K gets in trouble for the murder and we all know he didn't shoot the guy that might be what's fair but that is not what the law is the law says something totally different so 
as of now, TK has been found guilty for this crime. I, I said this before when that young man first got locked up. I said, look, they tried to they tried to uh, give him a little bit of leeway, and he played with them. They gave him home, you know, remember, he's a rapper. And, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people say that they go after these rappers hard, but I think a lot of these rappers get a million chances. And he was a rapper. And what did they do? They allowed for him to get, um, they put an ankle brace on him, they bracelet on him, they sent him home. And if I remember correctly, there was even a point that they weren't even going to charge him as an adult. And then what did Tay K do? He immediately did the race. Yeah. So um, he played with him. And then I think it was at that point that the government said, you know what? We need to set an example. We need to show people that you cannot be playing with us. Now, if you combine that with the fact that TK is in Texas, <laughs> I mean, they're they not joking around about stuff down there. He, they're in Texas. So, yo, anyway. Also, in addition to that, TK has another murder trial that he is um still has to go to court for. And not for nothing, I believe that this case happened after the initial one. I believe that this one happened after the initial one. So this was, I think, a trial that happened, a case that actually um, the, the events of it transpired. I'm not 100% sure. Leave it down in the comments uh, if you know know when this next case, is when it happened. But I think this next case actually transpired after he was already on doing the race when he was getting out of town. So, you know, he really, you know, y'all got to understand, he really embarrassed the judicial system. He made jokes and clowning about the judicial system. They gave him a bail, a bond, or whatever the hell. He probably made somebody lose their house. And what he decided to do was, he decided to run. And then not only did he decide to run, because people run, he decided to make a song about it. And then shoot a video about it. This this guy, he was just... I don't know if at this point you could say that he just didn't understand life or consequences. But not trying to be a dick. A lot of people failed him. A lot of people failed him. Anyway, I think that this second trial that he has to go to court for, the second murder case he has to go to court for... He is actually being accused of pulling the trigger. And I think that this happened while he was doing the race. Yeah. I think this happened while he was doing the race. And uh, also, for everybody that don't know, I think this is the one that happened when he was, uh, they was like at a Chick-fil-A or something. And, and, and there was a dude in the car and the dude got out the car and they shot him or they hit him with the car. Like, this guy was just doing a lot of stuff, man. I, I, I hear y'all talking about free TK, but could we could we say free some people that need to be freed? Could we not think about people that just do stupid stuff, costing other individuals their lives, getting themselves put in jail unnecessarily? Could we stop saying free them? Could we start saying free the people that need to be freed? Could we start talking about at least free the people who was sent to jail and they're getting too much time for the petty crimes. Can we start saying free them? Why is it always free TK? <laughs> free, free the app, free the guy murdering civilians for no reason. Free the guy attacking old people. Free that guy. This is the guy y'all want to free? I mean, I don't get it. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Put it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.